Just so you know, I'm taking a video now, okay. So what we have, you can just see, just you can see us in the reflection. So what we have here is a piece of Limerick lace, and this is tambour lace. And this one is 1880 to 1920. And you can see some of the details here. We are currently in the Limerick Museum, which has one of the largest collections of Limerick lace, which is a specific type of lace on well, some of these. Some of it is needle run and some of it is tambour lace. I think that communion dress is tambour lace, which would have been done with a hook. And this is some of these. This is a shawl. All of this looks like it was done with chain stitches. And we have here, do you think this is actually for a funeral? Though? Yes. Absolutely. So this is kind of, you can see some of the details here. This is just an astronomical amount of work. This is another child's dress. It's a christening robe. Christening, christening robe, yeah, there you go. And what's behind it, if you can ignore my reflection, is the frame here, which is was used to actually make make the lace itself. And a medal, one of the great exhibition in London, <laughs> which is that little thing there. Yeah. All right. So a little bit on Limerick lace. Now, the interesting thing about Limerick lace is that it was made from, like, basically in the 19th century when machine-made netting you know, became kind of more economical. In Limerick, in our hometown here, they started making this, this lace on top of machine-made net. So it was either done needle run with embroidery or it was done using a hook. And you can see some of the, the, the small detail here. Like, it's very hard to see. The, the list, this. This is like a lot of very, very, very tiny chain stitches on top of on top of this machine made net. And the stuff over here is the needle run, which looks just a little bit different. And these are placemats. You can see there's someone actually got their initials on that. Some of the yeah, maybe here. Some of the oh yeah, here you go. So Limerick lace is widely prized, but what distinguishes it from other lace? While many other famous laces are either handmade or entirely machine laid, Limerick lace is a mixture of both as it is embroidered by hand on a machine made net. Limerick lace makers, adept at stitches like cobweb, diamond run, and bird's eye were renowned for their skills and their work is still admired today. There are two main forms, both of which a lace maker sits under a large frame with a net stretched across it, while a small hook is used to embroider the stitches in tambour lace and needle is used in needle run lace. Many pieces of Limerick lace can t actually contain both forms. There's some of the patterns there. So if we take a quick walk from here. Hmm? Which one? Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> so the, just so you know, the extra, the stuff in green is in Irish. So <laughs> yeah, so the, there's a, an exhibition actually here right now for, um, for a lady who opened a school of Limerick lace. And they have a walk through. Here we go. Limerick lace. Famous Irish lace. <laughs> and some of these pieces are absolutely incredible. So here we go. Limerick lace industry was established in 1829 by the English businessman Charles Walker. Yeah. Queen Victoria was apparently a huge, huge fan. And here's some other kind of examples of this and it's kind of hard to it's really hard to show on camera because I can't get up close but all of these tiny little chain stitches would have been done probably with a tiny tiny hook I would say like a 13 hook or something like that so this is tambour again so this is like the machine made net and then all the extra stuff is just embroidered onto it, or like we're using a hook, using like crochet. And this is all from like the 1900s. Absolutely incredible. Fan, uncut, run lace fan with carnation design. So, like this definitely looks more like tatting, you know? 
and the, the, the fan pieces looked like it might be Bakelite or something. Which kind of would make sense for 1908, wouldn't it? Asleep. <laughs> Asleep. Yeah, the left yeah. and the right, the sleeves. Hmm? sleeves. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. The left and the right. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. So this is like the current exhibition, the Florence Vera Bryan Lace Collection. Currently on loan. One of the finest collections of Limerick lace in existence. Pieces were made in Limerick at the Lace School, originally set up in 1889. So a few more pieces here. Like this is a lace collar, 1907. So this one I think is needle run. Although in fairness, everything is so small that it's incredibly hard to tell. But this one actually has its original little label here. Who knows what that is? Limerick Tambor Lace. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> so we're, this is, in case anyone's wondering, this is actually the, the Limerick Museum, which is essentially the all the historical stuff related to my hometown, going back absolute like to ancient times <laughs> highly recommend if you're ever in ireland come take a visit you can see all kinds of um you know prehistoric stuff yeah <laughs> welcome to ireland <laughs>